Ultralight and rigid, the Aquaglide Deschutes 110 makes it effortless to paddle to your destination. Its open cockpit design offers easy entry and exit. It's a solo kayak with a 250 pound capacity for paddler and gear. The whole design features a low rocker profile and sleek narrow tubes for better tracking, glide, and speed. With its combination of stiffness, length, and its lightweight, it offers excellent performance for longer range trips. Commercial grade Duratex fabric is Aquaglide's lightest, stiffest, and most durable material. Welded and airtight tubes are single layer without the need for bladders. The feather frame inflatable crossbeam provides structural integrity. No hassling with poles or other add-on pieces to provide stiffness. Quick and simple to set up. The bow features a carry handle, deck bungee, and a splash guard. The deck bungee offers added storage for dry bags or other gear. The splash guard helps keep water out of the cockpit. An EVA covered floor reduces weight and no inflation is needed. This makes for easy and fast setup. The solid floor gives the paddler a lower center of gravity for added stability. The core seat offers a thick padded seat cushion along with a breathable and adjustable high back rest. The seat cushion anchors to the floor with hook and loop strips. The seat installs in seconds with its quick release buckles. The bungee straps on the stern deck provide secure storage for dry bags or other gear. Stern handles makes for easy carrying. Two side handles help when moving or carrying. A drain plug in the stern offers easy drainage of the cockpit when on shore. Three easy access valves for inflating. Takes about 10 minutes to inflate with a hand pump. A 12 volt electric low pressure pump is recommended to inflate for quickness and ease, then a quick top off to proper pressure with a hand pump. Pumps are not included and sold separately. For increased tracking, there is a fin box in the stern and it comes with the Aquaglide's quick release weedless fin. This kayak includes a backpack style storage bag. The boat and pack easily fit into the trunk of a car, a closet, or in your RV. They can even be checked in as luggage on a flight. The Deschutes 110 offers great paddle performance on lakes and mellow rivers. Its ultra lightweight makes for easy transportation to and from the water. Line inflatable kayak. Here we have all the pieces of the kayak laid out. Instruction manual and rear fin, the adjustable footrest, a patch kit, the air pump, padded seat, kayak paddle, and the inflatable kayak itself folded up. Next we'll get all these pieces out of their packaging and get the kayak assembled. First we'll assemble the pump. 
The pump comes with a pressure gauge and there is an inflate and deflate side on the pump. So we will screw the pressure gauge into the inflate side and then we'll attach the hose. We'll attach the hose to the pressure gauge and twist it so it's locked into place. So now our pump is assembled. Next the paddle comes in four pieces. Attach each section together. Now we will unfold the kayak, inflate it, and attach the seat, footrest, and fin. The kayak has three separate chambers, one on each side, and one on the bottom. Once the hose is removed from the section, replace the plug. Now we'll move to the outside. Now that we have the kayak inflated, let's add the seat, footrest, and fin. You can see on the bottom of the kayak, there's large Velcro strips, and the instruction manual shows the side of the bungees as the front of the kayak. So we'll add the seat back on this side. The seat has Velcro on the bottom of it. Push it down and get it Velcro in. And the kayak has metal D-rings on the insides that these hooks can attach to. Attach the footrest. The footrest has two Velcro straps that can attach to the two Velcro straps in the center of the kayak. The footrest here, the seat here, and now last we can add the fin. On the rear of the kayak you'll see the attachment point for the fin. You'll want to put the front end of the fin in first, slide it forward, and then pull it back so it hooks, and then you'll push the back side in. Make sure it's locked in place, and then you'll take this little clip and push it through to make sure the fin can't pop out. And just like that, your kayak is fully assembled.